Good evening everyone. Welcome back to Sun State Metal Detecting. Thanks for joining us for another metal detecting treasure hunt. We're essentially repeating what we did two weeks ago where we hit the beach and went on down and found ourselves our Queen Victoria Gothic Florin. If you've missed that video, have a look in the description. I'll leave a link there so you can go back and watch it if you please. We are uh, out here getting a start just after 8 p.m. Unfortunately, the tides recently uh, have been not quite right with my schedule, so we're just having to take the opportunity as it arises. We're going to power through. It's probably about an hour's walk to get to uh, where we need to be. I'm going to get my running shoes on. We'll get down there as quickly as we can. And I think as soon as we reach the location where we found our trader's token some time ago, we'll slow right down and we'll see what's been left behind. Well, this is something I've never seen before. Um, maybe one of you out there can help me identify what this is. Well, this is a welcome tone. I'm going to be quick with this one because there's a spider above me that's about the size of the palm of my hand. Hmm, lovely. I've just been swinging very, very quickly as I walk along here, just in case I happen across a target. And I've come across one. Very strong, sat right on the surface. And it's a little bell. Looks like it's got a bit of green ribbon. Yeah, a little bit of green ribbon on there. And it looks like the ball that was in the bell is now gone. But um, yeah, something a bit different, I suppose. Let's continue along. Well, I think my plans for tonight have just changed. Um, I've just come along to this first section of uh, erosion and there is a huge chunk of beach missing. Uh, obviously in the last couple of weeks, something has happened and I reckon we're maybe a metre or half metre of June has receded and there are I can see a number of trees that were formerly stood up on the bank that are now quite firmly mid beach um, so I think what I'm gonna to have to do is slow down and uh, really work along this sort of top section of beach here um, if there are lots of finds coming out then we'll we'll just remain slow and just keep working our way along and clean this section of beach again if the finds aren't coming very quickly, then we'll just power on through and go back to our original plan. Um, but either way, we've got our first target here um, in this first section of erosion. It's um, a little bit all over the place. Could be five cents, could be a square nail. Either way, it's a ways down there and it's in a section that would have been um, bank only well two weeks ago 19 out of the hole very very firmly 19 out of the hole let's see what are we dealing with there we go it's over here it's in my hand it is a coin so it will be five cents yeah Okay, first coin of the day. Let's see if there's uh, much more of that to come. All right, quick status update. Um, the erosion is pretty bad, but it's not bad enough to the point that the beach is filled with new uh, stuff to find. So I'm powering through, you know, I'm sort of at probably uh, you know, double my usual pace. Um, still the occasional tone here and there, a lot of iron. I've noticed but um, this is our first uh, non-ferrous tone in a little while <laughs> floating around a high 30s or maybe low 40s um, really sort of jumpy kind of tone so it could be just about anything It's like it's yeah it's fairly deep too and deep on this beach normally means good now that tone has changed so that means that we are probably very very close 41 out of the hole 
Is it 20 cents? Yeah, sure is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, another old portrait. Okay, so I would suggest that that's probably come out of the bank above us. The sand here is quite soft, um, which tends to mean that it's probably been redeposited. And uh, that either means that it's been dra uh, dragged up from lower down on the beach or pulled down, which I think is more likely the case from up above. So let's keep moving and see if there's anything else along. Okay, another signal nice and high up on the beach. This one's got a triple bounce. Which is a bit odd. Uh, sounds like it could be shallow, so let's just try the pinpointer straight off the bat. Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, it's like a little, um, a little rivet off something. I was going to say triple bounce is usually like a ring-shaped object, but um, yeah, that's exactly what we've got. All right, put that in the junk pocket and we'll move on a bit further. Okay, we are mere meters from the spot where we found our trader's token. Uh, this one, yeah, I don't really know. It's um, jumpy, the occasional iron, but given the history here, we've got to give it a go. Floating around the mid 40s. So, you know, it could be any number of potential objects. Sounds like the iron tone is disappearing. Low 50s out of the hole. Bit of pumice stone there, I thought that might have been a, uh, a sinker. <laughs> and it was a sinker. Yeah, another round one just like before. Right, we're going to slow down now and uh, see what, uh, what other objects we have in this section that's yielded a lot of old stuff. Got a nice little, uh, another low tone here. It's only small. Put it over there. 12. Flock of geese flying above me or something. What have I got? Oh, it's a stainless steel washer. Oh, that would definitely explain that sort of signal. All right, whack that in the pocket. We'll move along. This one sounds like a can, but it's a bit too small to be a can. We'll give it a shot. Definitely in the right place. Wow. It's a ways down. All right, we're gonna to move to the pinpointer. So I'm reaching the limit of what I can do with the, uh, the scoop. And the pinpointer. Ah, it's in the wall. I missed it. All right. 
right. What are we dealing with? Oh, it's way over. Actually. What have I got there? Um, that's the collar off something. It's only aluminium, so not going to be old. Put that away. Fill the hole in. Keep moving. All right, we're really starting to hit a few targets now. Mid to high 20s, this one. Very tidy dot on the screen. Very tidy dot. Starting to get nine tone in there. Hmm. Just gonna come back here a little bit. Still in there. Twenty eight, twenty nine out of the hole, so it's remained fairly consistent. Hmm. That's a coin. And that's going to be, yeah, an old 10 cent. All right. So it looks like we're back. Back on the coins, finally. Oh, well, let's keep that up. All right, one step to the left. That one's floating around a 50, mm, 50 something, low 50s maybe. 53, 54 out. So that doesn't correlate to any of our modern change. What have we got? Ah, it's a square nail. Yeah, another big thick square nail. Okay, maybe a sign of things to come. All right, just another relic of the past I've just come across here is uh, this piece of glass. It's quite thick and it's definitely not uniform it's much thinner on one side and thicker on the other and the base is really quite yeah it's, it's hand blown by the looks of that so uh we're definitely getting closer to uh some older stuff it's just a shame there's nothing written on there but um yeah just some very 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 dark green glass hmm. i'll put that back and we'll keep moving on Starting to get a lot of iron tones here, but um, this this target sort of jumped out at me. Mid thirties to low forties, generally. <laughs> out and one. All right, I thought that one was going to be a little bit deeper, actually. Let's see. Just down here somewhere. Ah, uh, what have we got there? Yep, another square nail. Small one this time. Just as rusty. But, uh, yeah, they persist. Let's keep moving. Well, this is something I've never seen before. Um, maybe one of you out there can help me identify what this is. But, I have a large plate of bone. Uh, it's curved, it's uh, probably about 30, 25 to 30 centimetres in length, and it appears we have a rib passing through the inside. My initial thought is maybe turtle, but uh, I may be incorrect there. Does anyone know what that is? Leave a comment please if you do, I'd be very interested to find out. Another low tone here. This one is a ways down by the sounds of that. Or not. It could be a five cent coin that was uh, sat in the ground on edge. And we 
we correct? Or it's another little, um, oh, it's a tiny little bullet. Yeah, that's what that is. An itsy bitsy, absolutely minuscule bullet. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, let's uh, continue on and see if we can find anything else interesting. All right, we may be onto another coin here. Sounds like it's just above this um, this tree that's fallen here. Very difficult to dig a target like this, but we'll we'll manage. You know, I might actually get the pinpointer out for this one. Just set the manticore down there. Let's see. Sounds like it's just... Yeah, right underneath. I had a feeling that's where it was. Um, I'm just going to scoop everything out this way. Still under here somewhere. We're out. And what have I got there? Hmm. That is actually part of an unfired bullet. So the bullet itself, which is a snub nose, is still attached to its brass casing but the bottom of the casing has uh, broken away. And that looks to be roughly, roughly 404 size. And uh, we've got the uh, lead showing through underneath there. So that could be another older, um, older find perhaps. Just get this filled in and uh, we'll continue the search. All right, we're now on ground that we've never searched before. And our first target here is uh, that one. Just locate that before I go and take a take a scoop. Sort of floating around the high fifties, maybe up to a sixty or so, I would say. All over the place out of the hole. Hmm. Just up here somewhere. Uh, what's that? Oh, two dollars. Okay. Put that in the pocket and we'll move along a bit further. A really nice clear one here. Fifty-six, fifty-seven. Hmm. Jumpy out of the hole now. What are we dealing with? Just in here. Yep, that's our object. Um, well, there's something printed on that. That's just rust. It feels, you know, heavy. So I don't know whether it's lead or something else, but there's definitely something printed there. Maybe like a C. I wonder if this is, oh, you know, this might be a bag seal. This might be an old lead bag seal. Um, well, that one's going to go in the treasure's pocket. I'll try and clean it. And we'll see if we can get a bit more information on that one. Because if it is a bag seal, that'll be the first one I've ever found. So, 
cool. Well, this is a welcome tone. Wow. 95, 96. Man, that's a, that's an incredibly high tone. Yep. Made a little bit difficult by the tree here. I might have struck something there. Yeah, there is something there. Um, just gonna confirm, you see, a post? It's what it is. So it's gonna be probably an aluminium. I wonder if, um, I see there's some rope here too. I wonder if this, whether that's like an ore. Unfortunately, there's no way I'm going to get that out from under the tree. So uh, we are going to have to leave that one there. Oh well, at least we know what it is. Okay, this one sounds like it could be a ways down. Mid to high 30s generally. Of course, depth can do all sorts of things to a target. Thirty flat out of the hole. Actually. It's an old button. Just saw that fall out then. And we've got text. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, I'm not going to be able to make that out while I'm here. I don't think. No, can't quite make out the text on that one. But, um, yeah, that's going to be another probably early 1900s brass button. Now, just as I got started on this hole, I thought I came across another similar tone just behind me. I'm just going to leave the camera on for just half a second here. I did. Mid 30s, so in the same sort of ballpark. Bit of an iron tone in there with it. Deep, hmm. Could mean old. Yeah, 37, 38, 39, around there. Are we on to another button? Where are you? Oh, yeah. What have we got? It's round. Yeah. Button number two. Actually, that might be... Uh, might be the same button. It's in much worse condition, though. That's okay. I still don't mind. We can definitely clean them. And hopefully, we can find out a little bit more about where they came from. Let's move along. Couple of steps further along. Another little tone here. Sounds deep, just like the other ones. Ooh, that sounds like iron now. I'm gonna dig it anyway. Twenty-one, twenty-two out. Let's see, are we dealing with a, another century old button? 
or another century old anything. Just in here. It's not that, is it? No. Hmm. Whatever it is, I'm not yet seeing it. Um, well, it's the edge off something. It's got that lovely patina about it. So this could be the edge of a button, maybe. I can't see anything on there. But uh, definitely looking at that patina, it's definitely got that very greenish hue. So I'm going to say that's probably another century old piece of metal from the same sort of general area. So that's, um, that's a hopeful sign. Let's see if we can find some more. All right, another nice consistent sound target here. Somewhere in the 50s, I'd say. Yeah, scented somewhere around the mid 50s. We'll find out what it's like out of the hole. We're definitely in the right spot. Yeah, 54, 55, 56. So it stayed fairly consistent in and out of the hole. It's up here. Is that it? I see patina of a bullet. Yeah, we've got a fired bullet there. Um, probably another 404. Yeah, I reckon that might be a 404. Cool. Put that in the pocket. Fill the hole in. And we'll keep moving. This one's a bit weedy sounding, but given the uh, older finds that we've had along here, we'll give it a go. You can see what I mean by weedy. It's just getting worse and worse as I go down. Hmm. Goodness. Deeper. All right, if it's not in that scoop, gonna have to go by hand. I've got a tree above me full of spiders and uh, I've got to knock the tree in order to move the handle of the, sun, of the sand scoop. And I'd rather not make it rain spiders and I've actually missed it. It's over here somewhere. All right. using my hand let's actually use the sand scoop oh yeah to find lead yeah with some wire coming off the top um i can't think of what that would be used for but um i'm gonna say it's probably old um if you've got any ideas let me know 
All right, well, this is a very, very strong low tone. Listen to that. Don't know what to make of that. Um, could just be stainless steel, of course. The challenge is it's gonna be probably under, oh, I thought it might've been underneath this log, but maybe not. Um, shush. What is this? What are we, what are we dealing with here? Um, oh, well that snapped. Okay, that's fine. I'll just see if I can move that aside a bit. Okay. And just see if I can uncover. Is it something in this wood itself? Is, is there a bullet in there maybe? dealing with here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll put you away for a minute. I'll finish digging that and I'll bring you back out as soon as we know what it is. I'll see you in a tick. The mystery is solved. It's a tubeless tyre. An old one at that and it's buried underneath this log. So unfortunately that's going to be well above uh, what I can dig out. So I'm just going to have to rebury this one and uh, keep moving. All right, looks like the erosion is getting a little bit worse again, which, well, could be a good thing for me. Uh, I've got a nice little tone up here. <laughs> 61 through 63. And it's right, as you can see, at the very, very top of the beach, right below the erosion. Ooh, that's jumping a lot higher now it's out of the hole. Okay, what are we dealing with here? That's a coin. Um, that's a dollar. Yeah, that's a one dollar coin, I think. Yes, I can just make out some of the kangaroos there. Boy, that's uh, that seen better days. All right, let's keep moving. All right, I'm going to be quick with this one because there's a spider above me that's about the size of the, of the palm of my hand. Mmm, lovely. Um, haven't had any tones for a while. Um, the erosion is sort of bad, and then it gets better, and then worse, and. It's a bit all over the place, really. Um, here's the tone I'm listening to. So nothing hugely exciting. But it does uh, make me think a little bit about, or, or uh, remind me a bit of those uh, buttons we had earlier. A very neat 40 now we're out of the hole, so that could be just a 20 cent piece. Okay, should be just over here. Whatever it is. Hey, it's another old button. Okay. Have we got writing on this one? All right, bear with me just one moment while I... Yeah, there is writing on this one too. Um, once again, it's a little bit too far gone at the moment for me to be able to read it, but um, I'd say that's another one we'll be able to look up once we get uh, the cleanup finished. Stay tuned for that one. Right, this one sounds a, 
an awful lot like the other buttons we had, so let's see. Very similar sort of tone. Might have disturbed it then. That tone sounds like it changed. Point to see. Ah, missed it, but not by much. And the bullet. Yeah, that's another little bullet. Hmm, not sure what round that one will be. A rounded nose. We can always take some measurements when we get home to work that one out. All right, I don't have far to go here now. We're almost at the creek, which is the uh, the end of this beach. So we'll do this last little bit and start heading on back and see what else we can find. I wasn't going to worry about filming this one. It was a 12, 13 in the hole. Then I hit this weird sort of clay material. Fairly tidy 20. 21, 22 out of the hole. And it's just over here somewhere. So I thought we'll give it a go together just in case. Okay, it's just in here somewhere. Any bullet again. Yeah, another one of those. Itsy bitsy, itsy bitsy tiny bullet. Alright, let's move along. Another nice strong one. Sounds pretty alright, even though it's only a 2122. Um, it's definitely got potential. Well, I think anyway. Time will tell, hey? Didn't think it was going to be that far down. Um, okay. Let's take a bit from the front there. What's that? Oh, well, that'll do it. Big old stainless steel tent peg. All right, in the bag of junk, and onwards we go. Ah, and look, we now have a second one. Although this one looks to be a little bit more complete. Um, yeah, so definitely that, that uh, what appears to be a rib bone definitely extends out beyond the plate. And, uh, yeah, what have we got? What's died here? Hmm, I'll see if I can find any more. All right, the uh, Manticore's batteries are starting to dwindle. We've been out here a hot minute. Must be after midnight now. Anyway, um, we are getting close. Oh, we're on our way back. We're getting close to where the Gothic Florin came out. Uh, just got a little 40 something signal here, somewhere. There it is. Give it a go. We have had mostly old finds out of this area, so. Forty-seven. That's in the territory for 50 cents, amongst other things. Okay, 
just down here. What have I, another square nail. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. So I've had a few of those tonight. I think that's our fourth, third or fourth one. But um, no pre-decimal currency. Although we do know there has been lots of pre-decimal here. So I think it's probably just the case we'll have to wait for a big erosion event to come through and replenish the beach and then we can come back and find some more. All right, well, this is quite the signal. Up there. Hmm. What have we got? Ooh. 78 still. A little bit higher, still high 70s. Oh, that's changed a little. I wonder if we're up. Oh, I see a can. Oh, oh boy, that's been in there just a little while. Something 1987. Oh, it's another America's Cup beer can. I found a 1974 one of these here last time. And now I've got a 19... Yeah, definitely 1987. Boy, that's been in there a little while. Poor. Now I've just sprayed myself in the face with sand. Lovely. I oh, will bag that and take that home. 